Hi everyone, I am Tiffany. I am Sandy's daughter. I promised you I'd come back with another video, so here I am. <laughs> and here's the always interesting and sassy Miss Ellie. Can you say hi? Who are you doing this to? This is for Nine's Cup of Tea oh. channel. Okay. So today's gonna be a really, really quick tutorial because this is um, a little DIY project that Ellie helped me with for this holiday season and it came out really cute. So I wanted to share that with everyone. Um, this is little wood slices, um, DIY ornaments that you can make and it's not just for the holidays. You can also tailor these for birthdays or um, any other type of event that you want to personalize something for someone. So yeah, we're gonna be going through all that. Okay. Um, <laughs> So what you're gonna need for this, all the supplies I got on Amazon, and it is super quick, super easy. I'm always a fan of that, so hence why I'm sharing with you today. Uh, but this is what they look like in the end. They're really cute, and you can even write on the back of them so that you know the year um, that they were created. So what you're gonna need is wood slices. You can get this on Amazon, and we can link the direct link to the Amazon um, products in the description of the video. But these wood slices were really easy because they already came with these pre-drilled holes. So you don't have to go drilling them yourself. Um, so you need some wood slices, a pretty wide brushed uh, paintbrush to help uh, adhere the pictures onto your wood. Um, this is Mod Podge. We've used this a lot in the past when we do different projects that the kids work on or um, other projects around the house. Mod Podge can also be found on Amazon. Um, a sharp pair of razor edge scissors if you have. These are great with fabric, so when you're working with different kinds of ribbons, this really cuts um, you know, clean and there's no frayed ribbon. Um, these are fist scars, also found on Amazon, so I can link that too. And the best sized pictures, um, we order our pictures from MPix or you can do Shutterfly, you can even go to your local CVS or Walgreens and print pictures. But these are um, four by six pictures or you can do even like a five by five. Um, I found that if you have more people, you may wanna get a size that is more zoomed out so you have room to kind of cut everyone's faces in. And then there was something else. I am missing a cutter. What um, cutter? Can you, can you go grab that cutter on the counter over there? And how do you walk with it, Al? What you'll also need is... Oh, different kind of cutter. Yeah, it's not yeah, no, that, no, that's it. Are you paused? No. Oh, oh we're still going. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, this is, uh, I'm not sure what to call it. I think it's a craft, like a craft wrinkle oh, cutter. Um, hold on now. <laughs> this is a craft crinkle cutter, so you can slide the pictures directly in. And when you Ooh. press down, I'll show you how it cuts this um, shape. We have kind of like this scalloped, if you can mm. see, this scalloped flower shape, which I thought would be really, really cute for the ornaments. It gives them an extra, um, like extra cuteness, extra quaintness um, with the ornaments. Um, for ribbons, I'm going to mm. do different kinds. For the ribbons that I already made, they were black and white checkered. That's always pretty classic for Christmas or birthdays. Um, but for the holidays in general, you can do any kind of ribbon that's, you know, dark red colors. You can do sparkly ribbons if you want to do like New Year's Eve. So we have some of these fun like pom-pom ribbons. Definitely will see this. Yeah. And to get the ribbon through these holes. I recommend if you have a toothpick or these are skewers, um, you can easily get the ribbon through the hole by just taking the skewer and wrapping the ribbon around it and just kind of pushing it through. It tends to help get it through easier. So we're gonna take the next step, which is to show you how we do this. Stay tuned. Okay, so I have um, three wood slices laid out here. I'm gonna put the Mod Podge aside because we don't need it just yet, but Ellie's gonna be my special helper. Right, Elle? Yeah. Yes. Um, so we're gonna use two just to show you how to do two. Um, so this is a picture of Miss Ellie um, for the holidays. So what 
you want to do is with this cutter or the craft cutter, um, you want to slide the picture in so you have it centered exactly where you want it to be. So if you can see this, uh, the picture of Ellie is right in the middle of where I want it to be. Once you have the picture positioned into this cutter, um, then all you do is you hold it and you press it down. And then the picture's out. And you see that really pretty design, that little scallop design. Um, that's something that you can add a little more flair to your ornament. So this is what you end up with. This really pretty, um, easy, quick cut of whatever picture it is that you're using. So what we wanna do is what we're gonna use the Mod Podge to adhere the picture to the wood slice. So that's where Miss Allie, you're gonna come help. Okay? My turn? Yeah. So there's a lot of glue in here, okay? So mommy's gonna dip it in. Mm -hmm. And then I want you... I should wash my hands after. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's fine. Um, Mod Podge is kind of, it's, it's kind of like Elmer's glue, but it's a little more thick, so it lasts longer. So Elle, what I want you to do is, can you paint it on the back of this picture? There you go. Paint it on. Oh, we can't see with the Mod Podge. There oh, we go. There you go. We're gonna paint this. Yeah? It's just like painting with paint, right? But you gotta put it on a cutting board to get paint. You can put it on a, a board or anything that's not gonna get paint all over your counters or your tables. And yes. then when you're all done painting, you put it on and then and then next we're gonna put on a string. Yep. <laughs> At least, at least five over. steps ahead. Also, this is um, how it's going to look. Right, Although, perfect. Although, there's going to be a different picture. So, what I like to do, too, is I will put some um, Mod Podge on the wood slice. That just helps to make sure that it sticks really well to your ornament, so you don't have to worry about it falling off. So, we take this piece that Ellie just did, and you stick it on. Make sure you're giving enough room for that circle there. You don't want to put your picture over the circle because then it's gonna be um, really messy trying to get the ribbon through that. So we are gonna stick the picture on and I kind of liked, I gave my pictures a little bit of some Mod Podge over it. It helps it stick even more and it gives it kind of like a little vintage look with the, with the little glare. Mod Podge dries really clear. So if you take a light amount of glue and you just gently brush it over the top of your ornament like this. It's gonna look a little concerning because it's gonna look all white, but but it will dry and it'll be nice and clear. And it gives your picture like a little bit of a, a vintage hue, which is, I don't know, I, I like doing that with any DIY stuff. Um, so you're just gonna brush that a little bit and then you're gonna let it dry. Um, I'm gonna wait a couple minutes while I make another cut. So we'll put this one aside. Hey, mommy, can I help you like last time? You wanna try and help mommy with a cut? Yeah, Okay. and everything. Can you slip this through? Oh boy. So this is a, I think this oh, is a five by finger. five size picture. So we're gonna again, slip it through this cutter until you get But the, our legs are not gonna show. Right, right, just your faces. Um, you're going to position this right where you want it to be. And then, Ellie, do you want to press down? Press. Really hard. As hard as you can do. Come on. Strength. Oh, good job. Nice job. Oh, where is it? It's right I here. It do you want to show everyone? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Don't look. Don't if look. If you have kids do this, make sure that you're doing it with them. Even with the scissors, these are really sharp, so you probably don't want kids um, cutting with the scissors, but just make sure you're supervising. Isn't that cute? Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take the Mod Podge. You wanna do this again? Yeah, you're good at doing these. <sighs> Thanks, baby. Um, and you're gonna paint the back of this picture, okay? Paint with glue. Yes. This is like a sealer. It's like a... Oh, falling off. It's okay. Good job. Gotta, I put it on the end and probably show that. That's all right, it'll wash off. <coughs> Wait, I'm gonna do that. Okay, here, paint the piece of wood. So Ellie's doing the same thing. She's painting the wood slice that it's gonna go on just to make sure that it has an extra stick to it. 
Um, almost. That almost. should be good. Yeah, that should be good. I'll put it back there. Oh, oh. oh sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a lot of glue. Sorry. No, you're fine. Okay, so we're gonna do Can the I? same thing. Yep. Oh, yeah. And nice now I'll paint over. Yes. Yeah, so Ellie just stuck the picture right on. We left room for that circle, like I mentioned before. And then wait, let's get some of this glue off. When you paint over the picture, if that's something that you want to do, you want to make sure that you're not putting like a ton of glue on it because it's going to end up looking kind of cakey. Um, so you just want to brush it lightly too. You don't have to brush very heavy. Just brush it really lightly across the picture. Oh, like okay? this? Like a feather. Yeah, like a feather. <laughs> Just like you're funny. Pretend you're tickling it with a feather. Yeah. There you go. Oh, no, slow. That, <laughs> slow tickle. There you go. Perfect. Look at you. Natural DIY girl. Natural DIY. So see that little white sheet, that, that shine? That's going to dry. And this is what it looks like afterward. Ellie's is still drying a little bit. Um. So... What we want to do now, this is the last part of the ornament, is we're going to put the ribbon through. So, Allie, what, what kind of ribbon should we use for this one? Where are they? So we can use the black and white one that Mommy used with the other ones. Mm -hmm. There's a white one, there's Ooh. like a burgundy one, and then I don't know... Um, you don't have to use that one. This pom-pom one, if you do use it, I haven't used it yet. It's going to be really hard to get through the circle, but what you can do is that once you like ring this ribbon through, you can maybe like wrap it around the ribbon to give it like an extra flare. Um, this was just like fun ribbon that we had around for Christmas wrapping, but I would not actually try to put this through the circle. That may take you some time. So I would do a ribbon that's like probably thinner that you can get through much easier. You wanna do white? Uh-huh. Okay. I'll be right back. So Ellie chose white. So we are gonna cut this, you can eyeball, just cut enough ribbon where you have room to tie it. So I'm gonna cut like that much. And then you're gonna take your, your skewer or your toothpick and you're gonna wrap the ribbon on the skewer. So the tip of the skewer is kind of, um, is touching it. And you're gonna push the skewer through and then let it go. So you see how I did that? The ribbon kind of came through really easily. So you measure it out. Um, it, dep it depends on what you want to tie this on. So if you're tying it on a Christmas tree, you want to give it enough room where it can fit on a branch. Um, if you're doing this as a birthday present or you want to give it to someone so they can hang it in their office, they can hang it in their kitchen, um, depending on where you want them to hang it, you can make it a little longer. So that's really entirely up to you. I'm gonna make it about that much of a loop um, in case we wanna put this on the tree. And you do a regular bow. You can, you can just finesse it however you want here and just... Uh... I wanna make another one. Okay, we're gonna do the other one that we cut, okay? So there's a bow that I made. It's pretty decent size. And there's some extra ribbon here. So this is where the scissors come in um, really good handy because these scissors can make really nice um, cuts. So you can do a little diagonal cut on it. Good job. So we're just gonna cut it diagonally on each side. And you hold the loop and just tighten your bow. Loosen it up a little if you want to. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Remember. And then you break your ornament. No, I'm just kidding. Sandy said leave all bloopers in, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> and there you go. It's this really pretty um, ornament. And you can personalize it whatever. You can do family pictures. You can do pictures of your pets, pictures of your kids, um, milestones. But we don't have a pet. We don't have a pet, but we others do. might. We have a fish. <laughs> um, so oh. Then you can write um, the year that you made the ornament, you can write a nice message on the back. It's a really cute way to personalize a gift for someone or you can add it to a gift that you're making. Um, so Ellie really wants to do the other one, so. No, no, not the ribbon, a whole other one. Oh, a whole other one. Well, I don't know if we have another picture to do, sweetie, but we can do it later, okay? 
Um, this is the other one. This is Ellie and my niece, Adeline. So grandparents always want pictures of the two girls. So do you want to do this burgundy ribbon for this one? Okay, we'll Check. do the burgundy. Yeah, burgundy, 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 burgundy. Let's make it, let's give this a little Are more length. So, we have some room. so again, we're going to take the skewer. You're going to put it over the ribbon, just enough to get it through. And you're just going to push it into the hole just enough where that ribbon sticks out and then pull out the skewer. You don't need to like put it all the way through because then you can just kind of pull it through yourself. See, so just like that. Um, if you wanted to use like a fun ribbon, like this is a wire ribbon, I'm gonna try and show you how you can uh, incorporate this in. You can take it and wrap it at the base of the ribbon if you wanted to. And because this is like a um, base with a wire, you can Wrap it around a couple times. If you can't see what I'm doing right now, I'll make sure to lift it up a bit so you can see. I'll zoom in a little. So let me cut this. Um, so you see what I did there? I kind of wrapped it and made like a, a little spiral with it. You can do something like that and just like move it down a little bit to give it a little bit of, um, this just gives it some extra flair. And you can do the same thing on the other side. I got these um, wired pom-pom ribbons from Amazon also. Amazon is my jam. I get most of my stuff from there, so. Even my teacher. Your teacher does too? Well, TJ Maxx. I meant TJ Maxx. Oh, TJ Maxx, that's a good one too. Um, so I did the same thing. I wrapped the pom-poms around the ribbon pretty. and then you cut it wherever you feel you want to. And then you can tie your bow the same way we did the other one. So this one's a lot more intricate because you have that additional ribbon, but you can adjust the ribbon however you want. And then you want to like, in this fray ribbon that you see, you kind of want to cut that out so that it looks a little more um, polished. And yeah, you have a fun little pom-pom one. Um, you can wrap it, clean it up. If you, if you have too much of this wire ribbon, you can always cut, cut the extra out. But it's a really cute way to kind of display a bunch of cool memories you have. And again, you can engrave the back of it. You can write, write a message on the back of it. And then what you end up with is a bunch of really cool, um, these are ones that I made earlier in the week that I'm actually including in gifts for everyone. So you end up with a really cool um, display of pictures. These can also be used as coasters, but I would say if you're gonna use it as a coaster, you might wanna put something to make sure that you coat the top and protect it so that you know wet cups and stuff don't mess it up. But um, it's a really cute and fun way for the kids to make stuff, um, for you to gift stuff. And so I will link everything for, that I got from Amazon into the description on the video. But a really cute DIY idea. Um, and yeah, if you, if you wanna try it, everything will be linked in. And um, you can also do it as birthday gifts. If it's a little too late to do it as a seasonal gift for the holidays, you can do it as a birthday gift too. Um, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Sandy's Cup of Tea if you haven't. And we'll check you out again soon. Hopefully we'll make another video, right, Elle? Bye.